प्रकाश इस वाले को शुरू करना so uh, last but not the least uh, if we are talking about the road map to uh, web development so first of all there are a lot of career paths in web development mm-hmm. we are having front end back end react for framework specific mm-hmm. we are having engineers mm-hmm. as well what is the difference between them and what are the things they are doing and what's the road map so this actually is a very very long discussion but i'll try to keep it as simple as possible so the road map basically uh depends upon what you want to actually do so let's discuss about the profile first so there is something called as front end developer there is something called as back end developer there is something called as full stack developer now there are developers specific to this tech stack as well html css developer javascript developer react developer node developer uh and all of these things developer django developer all the things but you have to understand one thing when they say react developer they are also expecting html css javascript that is basically a front end developer when they say node js developer they are expecting html css javascript right and express node and mongodb also so that is again a full stack developer so there are only two profiles right one is a front end developer one is a full stack developer which has front end and back end both now the broader uh, road map basically could be you learn html css you learn javascript we can any framework between react angular uh, view whatever you want and then when you go to the back end you start with express right you learn how restful apis work then you learn the database mongodb you also learn authentication as well right how does authentication works because you have to authenticate a user right there is something called as authentication and authorization as well right authorization basically is let's say for example there is a seller uh, who wants to sell something so that is an authorized user so Uh, this is basically the broader uh, road map and uh, instead of this thing you can add different different frameworks as well let's say instead of node js you can add django you can add flask as well and when you are in this journey you have to make projects at every stop when you learn html css make a project with html css when you add javascript make a project with html css javascript when you add react make a project with all the four stack stack when you add express and mongodb as well then you add make a project with that as well then when you add authentication you make a project with all of these things as well so bro- when you when you talk uh, in a very broader perspective uh, you'll have a lot of different projects when you actually learn all of these things so at least you can you should have 10 to 12 projects when you follow this proper road map so this is basically the broader road map of learning uh, web development and making projects and doing a lot of lot of exercises that's it okay so uh, in a nutshell like full stack development is the one who is unbeatable in this field right who knows front end back end and the frameworks right am i right exactly. okay it's same like in data science data scientist is the one who knows the data analysis and uh, till then the entry level is html css and js yes. okay and the same thing i am talking about for a fresher mm-hmm. okay what's the average salary bracket or internship Uh, that they can get based on full stack as per the frameworks so uh, i'll tell you the salary of front end developer for a fresher this will boggle your mind right so if you are a front end developer right you have you know html css javascript react js you made at least five projects right which has even if it has mock back end when i say project let's all the projects should have user engagement let's say an e-commerce or social media health tracker right a uh, uh, habit tracker something like that Uh, and you know github as well you know how github works you can create branches as well you can do uh, push pull commit all those things right you can expect somewhere around 10 lakhs per annum even as a fresher because all of these all of these skills that i'm telling you uh, it requires at least one year experience uh, to get all of these skills but you can develop these all all of these skills on your own by making these projects so for a fresher you can expect somewhere around 10 lakhs per annum and i have i know people or uh, being fresher who have cracked these 10 lakhs per annum without dsa now just imagine when you add dsa and when you add back end it goes up to somewhere around 15 to 16 lakhs per annum even if you're a fresher right then as your experience uh, as you are more experienced just keep on adding the numbers and within 5 to 6 years your salary can go somewhere near 30 30 lakhs per annum easily so that's why web gives a lot of money that's why you know a lot of people are coming into web by taking money as a motivation but uh keep motivation career because it has a good career and good money as well so 
uh, just that's that's a salary bracket of uh, you know a fresher person in front and back in both that's great and that's uh, many times uh, better than the basic package that we are getting uh, right. for the college yes exactly. that's great uh, i was about to ask you like how to apply for these companies uh, if you are but that's again a very big topic very broad topic right. Right. it's an umbrella it's an ocean right. so uh, i'll ask you in some other question because this is the series that we are going to continue uh, everything about beep and that beep can be data science we are going to discuss about different tech stacks here this one is for everything about web development thank you so much prakash thank you thank you ashish and uh, we are as i have told you we are going to have more such session uh, sessions uh, in this domain if you like this please uh, like it subscribe uh, do let us know in the comments what are the different tech stack you want to discuss what are the topics that you want to discuss we'll be more than happy to answer your queries and uh, thank you bye